So last game against Luton Town, obviously a lot of recovery since that game. How have the boys recovered? Yeah, limited recovery. I've got to be honest. They had a rest day, obviously, yesterday, being Sunday. They were in today again, doing their runs, doing their work. Uh, just had the SNC boys pass me their data. From today, people are clocking seven kilometres in the session in 29, 30 degrees heat on the Astro, which I'm going to say adds three or four degrees to it with the rubber crumb. Um, so, yeah, they're working tirelessly. I have to say, I felt that Saturday's performances were very productive. Um, some of the stuff in the first half was really good. But for me, I said it in the program notes, it's not about anything other than the fitness levels. Yes, there's got to be an organisational side of things, and that comes with not having a lot of possession. Um, I felt Luton were excellent on the day. They made obviously 10 changes on the 60 minute mark, but they put you into positions where you're not going to have in, in a training scenario or in games against lower opposition. I think that it allows you to go and get your high intensity burst, your sprint distance up, uh, your kilometres up. So it's perfect for us in terms of where we're at with regards to our pre-season programme. We go again tomorrow night against Brentford, slight changes in, in the personnel starting the game. Um, again, there'll be split minutes for large portions of the group, but other people will be getting 75s under their belt. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's, I'm really looking forward to it. The exercise that we had on Saturday and training again today is showing the levels that we want to get to. And, yeah, we're, we're excited to look forward to welcoming Brentford on Tuesday. Brentford, our new Premier League outfit, Brentford. Is there much of a difference in pre-season between championship sides and Premier League sides? I, it's hard to judge. I've got to be honest with you. I think Luton are going to be in and around it this year. I think the way they play, they move the ball superbly. Their three goals shows they've got quality in wide areas. They've got William Runners to run behind. Brentford have a manner of playing with high intensity. I know they played AFC Wimbledon on Saturday. Um, and I know that was a tough test for them, but they come here a game under their belt, a little bit closer to their start in, in terms of August 14th. And I can imagine they're going to come here with two 11s and that's going to be a challenge in itself. But going back to your question, I think the Championship and Premier League clubs are always going to dominate the ball. Maybe Premier League clubs are a little bit more clinical in, fin in the final third, but it's another well worth exercise for us. I spoke to the staff on Saturday and said how, how pleased I was that we allowed ourselves to get ourselves in a position in the first half to cause a few problems and have possession of the football and that's something that we needed to address in the second half but tired legs, the heat don't help and like I said the forced changes of 10 players coming on there's a lot of factors that aid them more so than us but Brentford are an unbelievable outfit I watched them in the, in the finals over the playoffs and yeah, they're going to the Premier League excited now and their challenge is to hit the ground running. So I can imagine they're going to want to come here and dispatch us and not come and play tippy tap. And our pre-season is a, a tough pre-season for Boreham Wood, but Brentford's next four games, they have their next three games of pre-season, Man United, West Ham, Valencia, and then first game of the season, they've got Arsenal. How does it feel to put Boreham Wood in that picture of names? My history is probably better than Man U's and West Ham's, Valencia's, but now listen, that's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable pre-season for them. I said my program knows before that the relationships the chairman has with the chairman over at Brentford is phenomenal. And for us to have the luxury of pitting our wits against them on, on Tuesday evening is brilliant. Our relationship with Luton, Arsenal, Chelsea now. Um, I love these games. I think they're massive in terms of getting the boys fit. It's concentration levels more than anything. And we play Kings Langley, we play Enfield Town, we play Chelmsford on Saturday. Um, these are games that we need to look to dominate. These games on Tuesday evening against the likes of Brentford and Saturday against Luton, it's an exercise of getting your fitness in. Yes, we don't want to get thumped. No one wants to get thumped. We want to be organised and well drilled. And I felt we were in spells on Saturday, but when you are playing against premiership outfits who are bringing strong teams to you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause you problems. And we just need to ensure that we're right at it. Like I said, I'll shuffle back again for tomorrow evening to ensure that we're not 
flogging people because I, I'm conscious of the fact that they Stephen Spenny, uh, a trialist, played 90 minutes on Saturday and Will Evans played close to 70 minutes off the bat, especially with the work we do. Like I said, we was hitting 6.5k on Friday in prep for Luton. Today we've hit 7k in prep for Brentford. You wouldn't do that in a normal season. We wouldn't do that in the National League. So if we were to start our season on the 21st as we are against Weymouth, I won't be doing no more than two, three, two to the half K on the Friday in prep for Weymouth. But I spoke to the group. We're in a position where I want to take them to the nth degree. I want to, I want to push buttons they ain't been pushed before. I spoke to the five signings when they come in the building that I'm going to get them the fix they've ever been. And I have to say, the response from them five have been excellent. They've bought right into what we're expecting. And I've got to be honest, they feel the effects. We do a run in here called the Eurofit, where I honestly believe it's a massive, massive positive for how we go about our game plan. And like I said, I touched on it. I watched the game back, got the footage across, and I have to say, the first half was brilliant. I really, really enjoyed the first half. And in spells on Saturday, and the second half were just as productive. But to have the likes of Luton, Brentford, Chelsea, and Arsenal come into town, and giving the fans saying what they want to see, the likes of Ivan Tony, if he's here tomorrow, I know what he's achieved and where he's come from. Done it, did really do it at Newcastle, then fell into the league with Peterborough, delivered with Peterborough, got him out an unbelievable season with Brentford, and now he's a Premiership player. So I'm in all, I'm in all their manager. I love the way he goes back to his business. I, I nicked a little bit off him when he started using the tactics board in the in the first lockdown and he was using the drink breaks as a, a little bit more of a tactical sort of two, three minutes as opposed to hydration. So yeah, I'm always learning. So I'm excited to see them attend here on Tuesday evening because yeah, I love to learn.